Hello everyone and welcome to your third C++ tutorial in which I'll show you how to get user input in C++ and how to store that input into a variable. And to start off with, we need to create a variable to store the input in. This is very simple as covered in the previous video. If we want to store an integer, we'll start off by creating an integer variable and we'll just call this input. And we don't want to set input equal to anything just yet. Now what you want to do is type C in and then two greater than signs and then input. Now what this will do is it will ask the user, it won't actually show anything on the screen, it will just wait for the user to type something and then it will store whatever they've typed in the variable input. But if we build and run the program We see that we just have a flashing line here where we can type anything. But because it's an integer variable, we'll just want to type numbers. So if I just start typing a number and hit enter, and that's the end of the program, and that's stored the number 212211 in the variable input. Now we can do whatever we want with this. So to start off with, we'll just display it out. And to do this, we type C out and then the variable name, so input, and if we build and run again, we can type whatever integer we want, hit enter, and it will display it again. It's not very useful, but it just shows how you can display integers out from user input. Now if we want to do something more useful with it, we can first of all give the user a prompt to enter something. So the easiest way to do this is to just display a message and uh, suppose you want to know their name, so we'll say um, enter your name here. And then we'll end the line. So, so they'll enter their name on the next line, not on the same one. And because it's their name, it's obviously not going to be a number. So we're going to change this from an integer to a string. And then <coughs> What we might want to do is instead of just displaying input, we might want to display something like um, hello and then their name. So, like this. So now, if they enter their name and suppose their name's John, it will come up with hello John. So, if we press build and run. It will come up, enter your name, so I'll enter my name, which is Kassim. And then it comes up with, hello Kassim. It's not a brilliant program, but it, as I said, it just shows how you can use user input and how to display it out on the screen. So uh, that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.